Well, here we are. Saturday fun day. Wait, that's not how that works. Oh, we usually go out on Sundays. We went out on Saturday again to the garage sales. Yeah. And, you know, we did our usual thing. You have your route planned. Route. But as we got on the road, we went out and uh, saw a guy look like a Methuselah clockmaker, like hitchhiking or something. But he's putting up garage sale signs old guy so he's like hey let's follow the old guy we almost picked him up say so, hey, hop in old guy but uh we went to his uh, house and yeah we found some stuff it's in here it's all in here but it's all out of order so i can't show you old guy stuff but i'll tell you when i get there but anyway we didn't just go to garage sales though we went to thrift stores as well we went to a salvation army what in the world are we doing what are we thinking yeah we went to salvation army and we got this what in the world is this? Another sailboat, John, the Cincinnati picker. A schooner. I don't think that's a schooner. Looks like a clipper. I don't know. <laughs> this is one of those Marushka canvas prints. And we have sold these before. We got this for six bucks. And they sell, I mean, they're not big money. 25, 30 bucks. 30 bucks or so. I've sold a pair of these before. And, uh, yeah, they sell pretty quickly. They're pretty sought after. And the bigger ones, the better. So keep an eye out. Set this over here. And did a little, we got our, uh, this is from a garage sale. J.C. Higgins Youths. 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 <laughs> it says youths. That's a tough word to say. Youths. Archery says. Stop saying it, Mike. But we uh, pulled up at this garage sale, and this garage sale, was, there was people everywhere. And it was at the worst possible place to park. But we, we made it in there, rubbed elbows with all the, the commoners, like we're not commoners. And, uh, yeah, it's in there. We got a cool little wooden youth's archery bow. And uh, he didn't have it priced. Hmm. So, you know, in that case, you're like, oh, this guy was going to want a million dollars for this thing. Yeah, we don't have a million dollars to spend on the bow. But uh, I took it up to him and said, how much you want for this? And he goes, I don't know. That's about what he did. Nah, I don't know. And uh, he's like, how about, I'm like, oh, five bucks. I'm like, that's fine. So five dollars. Uh, not a lot of compage out there on this. There's some listed, some different stuff, but this exact one not. But my guess is anywhere from 100 to $150 on the boat. So, yeah. Pretty nice little find at the garage. So, for five dollars. All right. Another, oh, this was from the uh, charity thrift. A Wilson glove. I didn't comp this model. But the reason I got this, it's a Wilson. And it says, exclusive echo leather. Ooh, echoes. I can put it on my foot. <laughs> and it is a lefty glove. It is a right, left hand throw glove. And that maybe even better so uh yeah i only paid two dollars and fifty cents for this at the charity thrift which was awesome i didn't comp it i think it'll be fine got this at the garage sale this little neat bank and it's like a horse I don't, know. I don't think i want to take this out of there but it's like a horse drawn gas a fuel delivered in pipes bank yeah whatever that is um this guy didn't have any of the stuff priced either, so I'm like, ah, how much you want on this? Totally expect him to go twenty bucks because he had a he had a baseball bat laying out there, like a wooden Louisville slugger. It's okay, bat, you know. If he'd had five bucks on it, I'd have picked it up. He had like three hundred and twenty five dollars on it, <laughs> so I didn't have any good hopes about this. But uh, it's from the Baltimore Gas Electric Company, limited edition, and he said three bucks. And I was like, that's fine, three bucks. I didn't comp it. You know, that's hard to, especially, you know, at a garage sale when there's tons of people around comping stuff, it's easy. When you're the only one at the garage sale and the guy's looking at you, yeah, it's not easy to comp stuff. You still can, but, you know, I may be a jerk, but I'm not that big of a jerk. <laughs> uh, next up, another charity thrift item. We got this false graft. Did it again. There's no T on false graft, Mike. Jeez. Go back to kindergarten. This one ring, one ring. I've been reading The Lord of the Rings. <laughs> Can you tell? 
uh, this ring pan, one white, one and a half quart. This is brand new in the box there. And uh, this charity thrift was half off everything. So uh, we rarely get to go there because they're closed on Sundays, but got this for two bucks. I know you can't read that price sticker, but it says four. Got it for two bucks. So they comp out about 40 bucks or so. So yeah, really nice find on the false graph. <laughs> Only a couple pieces of clothing. And uh, these are silver tabs, like 90s era silver tabs. And got these for uh, green and orange was half off at this store. So got these for $3.50, $25, $30. I mean, every time I get these vintage silver tabs from the 90s, they sell super quick. So these aren't in perfect shape, but they don't have to be. So. And one more pair of jeans. This is the only two pieces of clothing. Two pieces of clothing. That's it. But these are, bam, these are Levi's, vintage Levi's, 505 orange tabs. Got these for 10 bucks. These were half off. I sold a pair just like this last week for $45. The exact size too, 30, 34. Sold exact pair like this for 40, $45 last week. So, yep, glad to find those when I see them. Can't really go wrong with the vintage Levi's. That price, you know, what can you do? 10 bucks, 10 bucks. Got a few coffee mugs. You know, they're all bringing 15, 20 bucks or so. This uh, Thor Labs mug, we got this for 50 cents. The Charity Thrift. This uh, Connitz mugs made for you. This still has the sticker on it. Germany mug, 50 cents. And Starbucks mug. There was none like this on eBay. This little aztec -y native design is from, I think, 2012. I can't see. But I paid $1.50 for this one. That's about par for the course. But the mugs. Art pottery. My wife picked this up because she knows about this stuff. I learn, but, uh, you know, I kind of kind of spot stuff every once in a while, but she's the, uh, the queen of the art pottery. Uh, made in Italy. Only paid $2.50 for it. And she thinks it'll bring 30, 40 bucks or so. So, yep, pick that up. Okay, where do we wanna go next? Uh, my wife got some clothes for herself at a garage sale, you know, professional lady, you know, had some high-end clothes and she picked up some pants for herself. But as she was checking out, the lady was like, I'm not gonna let you leave unless you take a piece of glassware or what, one of these. <laughs> and my wife saw this sitting there and this is a dance mid-century enamelware pot and she's like i'll take that she was like take it so there you go <laughs> free <laughs> thrown in because the lady just wanted to get rid of stuff um scrubbing bubbles this stuff the refills aren't spectacular be straight up with you unless you have like four of them but if you can find the kits with the dispenser and the refills those are big money but i found this one refill i paid we got 25% off, so about three bucks for this. I have a used dispenser. You're like, why do you have a used scrubbing, bubbling dispenser? Well, we use these things until they stop making them. So I still have the dispenser. I'm gonna get that dispenser, clean it up, pair it with this new bottle, and see what she'll do, because why not? Okay, what's next? Woo we got, this is a good thing about garage sales, because you never can tell what you're gonna find. We used to buy these all the time back when we lived in Missouri because they would sell for really good money. The blue antique glass ball jars with the zinc lids. And uh, yeah, that's a dog just going <laughs> over there. No respect. Like Rodney Dangerfield. But anyway, I got, uh, you know, these are a quart size. And we got some of these half gallons as well. The bigger ones are the better ones. And yeah, there's an atlas. Most of these are ball though. There's websites out there. You can tell the age of them just from the script. The, the, the cursive script will be different. And this one was really unusual because it had the strong shoulders, not the rounded shoulders. And the script is, looks old. And uh, we've actually had this one, the exact one before that we sold. This Mason's Patent, November 30th, 1858. We've sold this exact one before. What do they bring? They're all over the place. Uh, lowest 10 bucks a piece, as high as $25. A lot of factors depending on 
what era it was made, which you can tell from the script, the number on the bottom. Some of them have numbers on the bottom. The number. I know you probably can't see that, but there's numbers on the bottom. This is number two. And it has TX on the bottom. Texas, Taxis, Taxidermy, I don't know. But uh, you know what's one that's impossible to find is number 13. Bad luck. If you find a number 13, super valuable. We've never found one. And we've found literally hundreds of these things. Never found a 13. So keep your eyes out. People would break them and they didn't exist. So, okay. So next up we got a, I didn't know if this is for us or for resale or what my thought, my wife thought it was uh, very, very cute because we have kitties. It says caution this house protected by an attack cat needle point. It's professionally framed too. It's pretty cool. But we only paid like a dollar or two for this at a garage sale. <laughs> so it'd probably go up on the wall and set that over here. Okay. And we got a Lazy Susan or a Lazy Mike. Whichever you prefer. Whichever one you want. Put me on it and spin me around. This is a Kek Kekadu Traders. Every time I find this stuff it sells. Whether it's placemats or place settings or coats or jackets. I just sold a Kakadu coat. It'll be in the What's Sold, Sold video coming up. <laughs> but uh, every time I find this stuff, it sells. And we paid six and change for this. We got 25% off. Yeah. So it's in good condition. Pick that up. Okay. So I think I'm going to have my wife pan for a couple of things right here in front because it's heavy stuff. I don't want to lift it up. Let's see. First up, we have this receiver over here. And uh, this came from the uh, the old man Methuselah clock repair that was walking down the road that was hitchhiking that we didn't pick up. No, <laughs> uh, they had a lot of good stuff. Him and his wife were obviously retired and just looking to get rid of stuff. And he was uh, he had some pretty cool electronics. And he had this Pioneer receiver. The models on the front. But he had the remote. This remote by itself sells for about thirty bucks. And that's what he charged me for the whole thing 30 bucks so with the remote the receiver and he had the uh oh there's the model vsx 9900s and uh, had the manual with it 30 bucks for that unit this unit with everything with the manual the remote and everything and this came straight out of his entertainment center works perfectly showed me <laughs> uh with everything it would sell between 150 and 200 dollars in that range uh, all the units that have sold didn't have all this stuff. They, you know, one of them would have the remote, but not the manual. One of them have the manual, but not the remote. So pretty hard to come by that one. He also sold, uh, well, actually, I'm going to go into some other stuff. He sold me as well. We're going to pan over to the, uh, sorry. <laughs> Dropping stuff. <laughs> this printer. We got this printer at the thrift store. And this is an Epson Stylus Photo 875DC. The price sticker is on my side, but it was $15. And we got 25% off. So, what, just over 10 bucks or so. This thing was open, but it was brand new. The first thing I do on these things, these printers, when I see them in the box, is I'll come up. Can you see my hand here? I'll come up to these, and they have this hole in the side. And I'll feel. And if there's plastic wrapped in there, that's when I further investigate. Because if it's plastic wrap, it has a chance that it's new. So this one, you know, the tape was torn off. Who knows when it was done. But I opened it up and it is brand new. It is brand new. It still has the blue tape attached. Everything was sealed. It has the manual. It has everything in there. The the trial ink cartridges and everything. Bad thing about this, I mean, it was cheap. It was only 11 bucks or so, something like that. Bad thing about this is there's no sold comps. There's two listed, one for like 80 bucks and one for like 250 bucks. But... You know, it'll be long tail, but for at $11, it's low risk. I'm going to list it for about 150 you know, somewhere right in the middle. On top of the printer, this is not from the hall. This is the laptop that's going into our auction. This is the Sony Vile. We bought this brand new in 2010 and used it for about five or six years. And for the past four or five years it hasn't been used at all so i've been working hours and hours and hours getting this thing wiped and updated and even has its original box 
so that's going to be in our auction so it's going to be you know restored by me and it's only been owned by us it's had a little burn in on the screen but i'll cover that more later so all right Ooh. so moving on to another thing we didn't comp we got this was at the uh old man clockmaker hitchhiker garage sale we got the word mastermind invicta game my wife picked this up and it was only two dollars uh, we didn't comp it she just thought it looked cool so uh, pick that up and after that same garage sale we got these set of punches these are transfer punches and got these for five dollars these are heavy duty brand new did not comp them because i just know these things are worth it so <laughs> see how heavy that was <laughs> okay next thing he sold me was the techniques dual deck cassette deck you're like mike that's pretty cool what yeah and this is a model number rst16 did not look it up didn't look it up and you know why because he only wanted two bucks for this two dollars for a techniques i don't care what it is cassette eight track whatever two bucks can't really go wrong so yeah pick that up and like I said, this stuff's this guy's stuff is super clean. <laughs> Has a little scratches on the top, but not big a deal. Unfortunately, he didn't have the remote for the next thing, but still, this is cool too. This thing isn't super valuable on its own because this is just a six disc Pioneer CD changer and it has the cartridge uh, thing. And uh, let me see here. I didn't give twenty for this. He gave me he he let me have this for like ten bucks. Yeah, it was 10 bucks because you know i was just like eh. but that was before i even saw the box full of those cartridges full there's probably 46 disc cartridges in there these things by themselves sell for 10 bucks a piece and there's probably 40 of them in there so yeah, I don't know how I'm going to sell those, but <laughs> uh, no, I'm going to. Wow, did was that like a rush to the ending and that was just it? Just <laughs> I think that's it. I think that was everything. Oh, yeah. My, also, at Mr. Sell Me All These Cool Electronics, I, I made fun of him, like, you know, just because I'm just trying to have fun. The clock thing, he actually repairs clocks. And that's why he had some of these cool tools. And he had this little press that we picked up from him uh we only gave a dollar or two for it i can't even but yeah it was just cool he had little tools it's not worth much we had a little baby buy a little baby anvil he had all kinds of cool stuff i mean we spent probably a, our first hour of our day at this guy's place looking at his stuff it was so cool so that's it that is all i got i think it was pretty cool <laughs> but that was a full day we went all over northern virginia all the way up into alexandria did all kinds of cool stuff seen places we've never seen bought some stuff we've never bought so that was what's cool about it doing the, the garage sales so yeah that's it thanks guys and uh uh auction sunday may 26th good stuff 7 p.m eastern register at newfoundpass.com so thanks guys and we'll see you there